money stage of the WNBL season. But while we're in Canberra, we decided to drop into Triple S FM, the good sports station. We found a good sport here as well. Fiona Robinson's the co-captain of the Canberra Capitals. She also works here at Triple S FM. Now, what are you doing here? You know, none of these work. You <laughs> don't know what true. any of these do. But what do you do here at Triple S? I'm actually the Wednesday wench, and I, I come in on a Wednesday for two hours in the morning, and I, uh, I guess I, I cover what is uh, colour commentary, which is means they bring me in so they can be politically correct and have a woman here who's uh, not willing to be politically correct in the first place. Politically correct Wednesday wench. Who chose that title, you or the station? I think it was Marty, actually. I think <laughs> Martin came up with that one. All right, let's talk about the WNBL season while we've got you here. It's down to three teams, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney. I'll put you on the spot first. Who will win it? Sydney. Sydney, Without why? Without doubt. I think that uh, I think Sydney has a balance in, in all positions, that all the important positions in their team. Um, they spread their scoring enough between uh, the, the top four players that average you know, in, in double figures. I think that uh, they don't rely on any one player quite as much as, as Adelaide, who I think will be the, the, the secondary team in the league at the end of the season. Was it a surprise to you that Sydney could win 18 games on the trot, then drop the one of the ones that certainly would count? Yeah, I think, if anything, that Sydney will be happy about that. that there's a, like an inherent pressure that goes in with, with being undefeated for an entire season going into the grand final. Uh, and it's not one that I think any team would like to wear. So if you're going to lose one, then lose one where you have a second chance, which is what they do have. And uh, I don't think they'll have trouble getting past Melbourne to, to meet Adelaide in the final. Unfortunately, Canberra's not part of these playoffs. Uh, what happened we to your that. season? <laughs> we, uh, what happened in our season was we started too poorly too early. And this is where Melbourne has come through with their strength and this is why Melbourne has, has um, you know, ended up in the finals at the end of the season. Was uh, We lost too many of our easy games too early and then uh, once we did come good and, and we got together as a team, it was too late. There, there was too many games that uh, we had to pick up towards the end of the season. And we actually missed out by one game, which was, was a bit tough, but mm. uh, I guess that's how it goes in basketball. Okay, well, if you're the Wednesday wench here at Triple S, let's make you the airtime awards expert. Okay. WNBL awards are coming up. We'll start with the rookie of the year. Who do you think? I think uh, on international value, you'd probably go with Lauren Jackson, but I think if you're only judging purely on the performance in this league this year, I think you can't go past Rahani Cox. I think she offers a lot more in a lot, a lot more uh, different areas in the stats department. The MVP? Oh, no question. Rachel Spawn, not even close. The coach of the year. Now... We want you to be objective. <laughs> this is a national audience. Uh, I would. I, I think you have to say Bill Tomlinson. I think that. Uh, I mean, he has a team that should go through undefeated in, in this in this league, no question. But uh, it's a team that hasn't done that in the past, and in fact hasn't even made finals or won finals when they should. So I think he's uh, got a good mix of personnel for a start, which is a few changes. But uh, obviously, he's managed those extremely well this year, and I, I don't think you could go past Bill. Well, all coaches do get to pick, uh, or would like to pick, an all-star five. And who we love all the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> You're all great guys, really. Who would, who would you pick in your all-star five, or who do you think is going to be the all-star five yeah. for the WNBL award? I think as a five-man in the nation, you can't go past Jenny Whittle. She offers off too many offensive and defensive options as a five. And the four-man, Rachel Spawn, obvious choice. Uh, a three-man, I would think Trish Fallon would be the, would the next best choice. She's actually stepping out more to that role now. In the two, you can't go past Alison Cook. She's had a, a fantastic season with Bulleen. And in the one, I would actually choose two players. Uh, one, because I really think she deserves to be there, um, which is uh, Christy Harawa. But the other, who I prefer in, in game style, and, and they're very, very similar in, in what they've produced for their teams this year, would be Annie Lafleur. So I'd choose Annie as my one, and, right. and uh, Christy as my two. So that's your all-star six. That is my all-star six. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now what happens to Fiona Robinson from here on in? What are your goals, both here at Triple S, and also in the WNBL and further? I, um, I, at this stage, I'm, I'm officially unemployed. I'm between contracts. I intend to go overseas, and hopefully I'll have a... Uh, in the next couple of days, I'll hear about a, a Korean contract for a few months. I definitely intend to come back to the league next year. I, um, I do a lot of work here in Canberra in the media, which I really enjoy, and it's something I would like to, to extend. And So if you could offer me a job, that would be great. <laughs> um, that's, yeah, I think that's where I'm heading. I, I intend to, to play at the elite level you know, for as long as I possibly can. I've also taken up a, a side career of, of handball, and uh, mark my words, I'll be at the Olympics in, in 2000, but I'll be in the handball team. That's my goal, my long-term goal. But uh, I'll, I'll play in the National League probably another four or five years minimum. All right, well now, if you want a job on airtime, you have to do an audition first. So do you're really? our Canberra correspondent. Let's see if you can do like a, a Peter Harvey kind of thing. It's Fiona <laughs> Robinson, airtime. Straight to the camera, this is your big chance. OK. This is Fiona Robinson for airtime. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Fiona, thanks for your time here at Triple S and good luck with your endeavours overseas. Thank you. That's Fiona Robinson here at Triple S FM. Stay around. We've got more of airtime right after this. Slam it, baby. Slam it.